Who doesn't love corn? Corn on the cob, slathered in butter, corn niblets as a side dish, or warm buttered popcorn on movie night. Better yet, how about a hearty bowl of creamy corn chowder? There's simply nothing better on a cold winter day, in my opinion. All right, you're probably here because you're interested in what corn has to offer nutritionally. In this video, I'll be talking about the many health benefits of adding corn to your diet. I'll answer questions like how many calories are in an ear of corn and how many carbs does a serving of corn contain? Is corn keto friendly? And what about GMOs? Can GMO corn be avoided? Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Lisa with LowCarbHack.com. Today I'm back to share my research with you about corn to help you on your path to a healthier lifestyle. I invite you to come on over to www.lowcarbhack.com, your go-to resource for up-to-date nutrition information, interesting articles, and some of the best keto-friendly recipes out there. Over there, I share interesting discoveries on how different foods can either help or hinder your progress. And did I mention it's all free? Go on and click that link in the description. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that alert notification. That way you'll get notified whenever we publish valuable content on our channel. So without further ado, let's talk about corn. Corn, along with other starchy veggies and legumes like peas, beans, and lentils, also grains like quinoa, are not the best pick for a low-carb diet. Therefore, these should all be consumed in limited quantities. Although these foods are all grown from the earth and boast a number of health benefits, grains like corn and quinoa and legumes like peas, beans, and lentils are all quite high in carbs. These foods should only be eaten in moderation while following keto. That being said, you don't have to avoid the golden goodness of corn altogether. On more liberal, low-carb diets, you may be able to consume foods like corn more regularly. However, if you're keeping carbs below the recommended 20 grams a day on keto, you should limit corn to a quarter cup serving, which contains a moderate 7.5 grams of carbs. So let's get a little corny, shall we? Just not too much. Be careful not to overindulge, as a whole cup of the stuff contains a whopping 30 grams of carbs, which could easily send you soaring over your daily carb limit. So, how many carbohydrates and calories are in an ear of corn? A whole cob of corn contains 22 grams of carbs. There are 6 grams of natural sugar in each cob, which is less than the amount in a banana. One plain ear of corn has about 100 calories. Add to that cob a teaspoon of butter, and that number doubles. With nearly 3 grams of fiber per serving, corn can help you feel full for longer so that you're less likely to overeat later. If your diet strictly limits carbs, eat only half a cob as part of a larger meal instead of the whole cob and save the other half for your next meal. Fresh or canned corn is good for you, but it should be eaten in moderation while following a low-carb diet. You can safely consume a quarter cup serving of corn on keto, which contains a moderate 7.5 grams of carbs and still remain well within your daily carb limit. Sweet and yellow corn contains 19 grams of carbs per serving. Corn nuts pack a whopping 72 grams of carbs per 100 gram serving. This snack is not conducive to a low carb lifestyle. Neither is popcorn, which contains 74 grams of carbs per 100 gram serving. Popcorn should also be avoided while following a low carb diet. Popping the kernels increases the carb count. So if you feel a snack attack coming on, Try instead a homemade keto-friendly chip, like low-carb tortilla chips or kale chips, radish chips, cheese chips, or a few crunchy baked garbanzo beans. Feel free to mix them all up together in a large Ziploc bag to create a low-carb party mix. Check out www.lowcarbhack.com for many recipes on low-carb chips. What about canned corn? There are 30 grams of carbs in a full cup of canned corn. Whether canned or fresh, corn can be a keto-friendly food if eaten in moderation. For example, adding a moderate amount of corn to a meal, like southwestern chili or corn chowder may be fine, but eating a whole cup of corn on its own 
could cause you to exceed your daily carb quota. Depending on how flexible your low-carb diet is, you'll want to consume corn sparingly. Some plans, like Atkins, have an induction phase in which carbs are strictly avoided in the first few weeks and then gradually reintroduced later in the diet program. In this phase, corn should be avoided, but you may wish to add it back into your meal plan later in your program. In doing so, your best bet is to stick with a quarter cup serving containing a moderate 7.5 grams of carbs. Now let's look at the nutritional benefits of corn. Corn contains complex carbohydrates and it's a healthy plant-based food. In fact, corn is rich in vitamin C, magnesium, and B vitamins. It's also loaded with phytochemicals that promote healthy eyesight. Corn contains less than a gram of fat per, per half cup serving and three grams of dietary fiber to keep you regular and feeling satiated. There's quite a controversy over whether corn is a fruit, vegetable, or a grain. Corn seed, when harvested after the grain is relatively dry, is considered a grain because it's a dry seed of a grass species. However, the botanical definition claims corn seed is a fruit. Sweet corn, also known as peaches and cream corn, containing a mix of yellow and white kernels, when harvested before maturity, is considered a vegetable. Did you know that, generally speaking, corn can actually be good for weight loss? Many dieters who don't follow keto or other low-carb plans believe corn can be a perfectly fine addition to their food repertoire. Many diets that don't restrict carbohydrates allow corn, like calorie reduction plans, and diets that combine all food groups. The insoluble fiber in corn feeds the good bacteria in your gut, which aids in digestion and helps keep you regular. Additionally, the resistant starch in corn makes it a slow-to-digest type of carbohydrate, complex carbohydrates, which has been shown to help with weight management and add to that a healthy dose of B vitamins, iron, protein, and potassium, and you've got yourself one sweet, complete package. But isn't all corn genetically modified? Another food myth debunked. Only a small percentage of sweet corn grown in the U.S. is genetically modified, according to the USDA. Most GMO corn is used in processed foods like corn chips, breakfast cereals, high fructose corn syrup, and corn oil. We don't have to worry about those foods now, do we? As we tend to avoid those on a low-carb diet anyway. What about corn flakes? The popular breakfast cereal, corn flakes, contains an excessive 84 grams of carbs in a single 100-gram bowl. Avoid the cereal and avoid adding it to recipes, especially when on a keto diet or on a low-carb diet. Avoid using it as a filler in meatloaf and in meatballs like people often do. Most of the corn used to make cereals is also genetically modified, so watch out for corn cereals if you're sensitive to GMO products. What are the best meals with corn for people on a low-carb diet? Recipes that call for a small amount of corn are generally recommended on low-carb diets like keto. A good option is Southwestern chili made with ground beef, ground turkey, or ground chicken using a spicy tomato base and only a handful of corn and beans. You may wish to sprinkle a tablespoon or two of corn niblets over a taco salad as well. Corn chowder recipes can be tweaked by cutting the corn in half. If you only use one cup of corn for a whole pot that serves six, each bowl yields only eight grams of carbs. Pureed cauliflower makes a great substitute for creamed corn and also makes your chowders thick and creamy. Enjoy a quarter cup serving of canned corn niblets, which is only 7.5 grams of carbs, or half a cob of fresh sweet corn. 11 grams of carbs. Enjoy this as a side dish to go along with your favorite protein and vegetable entrees. Here are 10 keto-friendly veggies to enjoy instead of corn or eat them alongside a small serving of corn. Since you'll only be enjoying a small amount of corn on your plate, you'll want to fill up on more of the following low-carb veggies. The following carb counts are based on a 100 gram serving. Cauliflower, three grams of carbs. Avocado has two grams of carbs. Broccoli has four grams of carbs. 
and zucchini has three. Asparagus only contains two grams of carbs per 100 grams serving. Kale has three grams of carbs. Green beans has four grams of carbs. Spinach only one gram of carbs per serving and cabbage a little bit higher at six grams of carbs, but still fairly low carb. Now, let me ask you, what are your go-to low carb veggies? What's your favorite dish using corn? Which low carb alternative do you enjoy instead of popcorn? I'd love to hear what your thoughts are below. Of course, if you have any questions about corn that we didn't answer in this video, drop us a comment below and we'll do our best to answer your question. For more details about corn, please visit www.lowcarbhack.com or click the link in the description box for up-to-date information on nutrition, the ketogenic diet, and so many delicious low-carb recipes. Well, low carb hackers, thanks for stopping by. And until next time, keep calm and keto on. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Share it and tell your friends about it. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.